Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks. And today I want to show you how you can create your own beautiful fall edit in Photoshop. Plus, I also want to share with you how to use the autumn inspired Photoshop actions from Cozy Clicks to really speed up those autumn edits. Before I jump right in though, I would love to know in a comment below, where are you from? Are you from a place where it does turn into fall at this time of year? Or do you live somewhere like I do here in Phoenix where the leaves pretty much stay green all the time so it's hard to get those beautiful tones in your photos? But I know a couple tricks to help you out. So let's get started and let me first show you how you can create an autumn look on your own. And if it's easier for you to read these instructions, you can click on the link below or you can go to cozyclicks.com forward slash fall edit to read this tutorial. Now, if you look at this photo here, you'll see that there are a lot of green trees in the background and it looks very summery or springy. And I want to turn these leaves into more oranges, reds, browns to give it a look of September or October. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm actually going to grab the dropper tool that's over here on the left hand side and I'm going to sample some of the colors in the trees because what a lot of people think is that these trees are green because they look green but in reality the color isn't as green as you think so let's sample a couple areas I'm going to sample right here and I'm just going to click here so you can kind of see my color range. If you look here, you'll see that it's not really a solid green right in the middle, but it's more of a light green yellow. So it's more of a greenish yellow there. So I'm just going to close that out and I'm going to sample another area just to show you that it is similar throughout these trees. So I'm going to show you that again. And once again, if you look at this color range here, that color isn't solid green, it's more of a greenish yellow, actually falling closer to the yellow than the green area. You're going to need to know this in just a minute, so I am going somewhere with this. Let's close out of there though. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to create another adjustment layer. We're going to select Selective Color. Now this is where it comes in handy to know exactly what shades are in that green of the trees in your photo. When you have the selective color uh, layer pulled up, you're going to change the colors. Yours will probably, um, it, it might be at red to start. You're going to want to change it to yellow because remember, it wasn't really solid green. It was more a greenish yellow. And I bet that's what you're going to find with a lot of your photos that have a lot of those bright greens in them, that it's more yellow than green. So we're going to go to the yellows here. Now, if you think back to grade school when you learned about mixing colors and complementing colors, with yellow, if we want to turn it into a deep orange color, we would have to add red. So if I look down here at my selections, we don't have a red slider, but we do have a cyan. And the opposite of cyan is red. So I'm going to use this first slider here. And instead of dragging it to the right to add in more cyan, I'm going to drag it to the left to add in more red. Doing this, you're already going to see it's starting to make my photo look a lot more orange. Because remember, yellow and red make orange. I'm also going to add in a little magenta because I think that's going to give it a nice tone too. Magenta is similar to red, so if we add in that magenta and mix it with the yellow, we're going to get a nice fall tone too. And you can see as I drag that over, our leaves are changing into some oranges and browns and reds. Now, the thing about this is that it affected our whole image. So I don't want the, the ground looking this um, reddish orange color. I definitely don't want her looking that way. So what we can do is go over to the selective color layer and I'm going to invert it by hitting control I. Okay, now we're back to those bright green trees again. 
but you can grab your brush on the left side, change it to white, and make sure the hardness is all the way down. We want a nice soft brush here. And I'm gonna increase that brush size just by moving my brackets and we're gonna paint on those fall colors. So I'm gonna go over these greens in the trees and I'm gonna make it more orangish red than green. And that makes those trees look much more like fall than like summer or spring. And if you can see, I kind of went down here with my brush. I got some in that dirt area, so I'm going to decrease the size of that brush and I'm just gonna kind of erase off the areas where I don't want it showing through. Now, if you would like a more dramatic look, you can go to this selective color layer and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to select duplicate layer. This is gonna duplicate that color and that's gonna make it even more intense and bold. Now, I think this looks kind of fake. Um, so I want to, on this second layer, decrease the opacity until I find it looks a little better. And I might get into that second layer and I might erase a little bit more off the bottom just so it doesn't look quite so fake. But you can see there by duplicating it, it really brought out the intensity even more. So let's take a look. There it is with our fall edit using that selective color. And there it is without. So there's the green, there's our first layer, or for more intensity, there is our second layer. And that's a pretty cool and easy fall edit. Now, I told you I would show you an even easier way to do a fall edit, and that is using the Cozy Clicks Autumn Inspired Photoshop Action. And this is a collection that I love. It's actually one of the more popular ones during this time of year. There's 14 actions plus a mixer, so you can play all of them. So here's the photo again, and I've already actually run all the actions. So I put play all Cozy Clicks Autumn Actions, so all of them are run on the side of this photo already. Now all I need to do is just click on the ones that I want to try out. So if I wanted the first one, I would just click on it and it instantly changes my photo. Now this is one click. I didn't have to erase anything off. I could have if I wanted to, um, but I kind of like it just like this. This is more um, of a golden fall edit. This is the crisp breeze. I'm not gonna show you every single one of them, but I'll show you what a few of them do here. Um, pecan pie is another one of my favorites. I can click there and it changes it to more purple. And you'll notice with this, it was one click. Um, it didn't affect her skin. It didn't affect the background. It was mainly focusing on those leaves. So that's what I really love about this set here is that it was created so that it doesn't really affect your subject. Um, you can see a few more. Here's potpourri. That's a real intense look there. Um, oak tree is here. I like that one too. That's kind of a more deep brown look. And the cool thing about this too is that you can um, double up some of these. So you might try a couple and layer them on like that. Put pecan pie on too, just to see what it would do. So there's a lot of things you can do with this autumn inspired action pack. You also can click on one and if you don't like if I tried, here's nutmeg here. If I didn't like the intensity on her, we always can take the brush and just brush off the subject. Pretty easy like that. So these autumn inspired Cozy Clicks actions are on sale right now over in the shop. You can use the code FALL20 to take 20% off of those actions, or you can try these on your own too using that cool technique I showed you in the beginning. If you do use these actions or that fall edit tutorial I just showed you, I would love to see how it comes out. So if you are over on Instagram and you post one of these shots, make sure to mention or tag me at Cozy Clicks so that I can see what you created. Thank you so much for watching today. And um, please subscribe to the channel where I will be adding more tutorials all the time. Thanks for watching.